Hi everybody! Today's story on Indian Story Read Along is called Elephant Dance, A Journey to India. This is an illustrated picture book and this is written by, as we'll see here, by Teresa Hine and illustrated by Sheila Moxley. It's a story about a little girl and a little boy whose tata, their grandfather, visits from India and he tells them all about India as he was growing up. Let's get started. Elephant Dance, Memories of India. When grandfather came from India, it was cold. Anjali knitted him a red woolen scarf and Ravi bought fleecy slippers for his feet. Is it hot in India, grandfather? asked Ravi. Yes, indeed, Ravi, said grandfather. The sun is a most fierce fellow, hotter than a hundred cooking fires. At dawn, he rolls into the sky like a fiery ball. And then he uncurls and he is a ferocious tiger. Look at the way that Ravi and Anjali are imagining it. That's exactly how the sun is in India. For dinner, he eats red chilies. He is so very hot and thirsty, he growls and roars all day. In the evening, when the stars begin to shine along the Milky Way, he drinks a bowl of coconut milk and then falls asleep. Grandfather brought presents for everyone, a blue sari for mom, a sandalwood box for dad, silver bangles for Anjali, and a red and gold kite for Ravi. Grandfather and Ravi took the kite to the park. Grandfather, said Ravi, what is the wind like in India? There's everyone there with their presents. When she blows from the western desert lands, Ravi, she is strong. Like a wild horse, she stamps and snorts. She snatches the ch ch children's kites and storms away with them beyond the hills and over the ocean. Sometimes the wind is a gentle one. Then she pit pats through the trees, hushing the leaves to sleep. And what is the rain like? asked Ravi as they sheltered under the trees. The monsoon rain is like a curtain, silver like Anjali's bangles. It cascades like a waterfall from the sky, making many mirrors on the ground. Raindrops scurry to and fro like little silver fish. When the sun and rain meet, they make a rainbow stretching over the sky. Is it the same as the rainbows I see here, said Ravi. A rainbow in India, Ravi Beta, meaning son or child in Hindi, is seven silk saris hung across the sky to dry, red as the watermelon, orange as lentils, yellow as saffron, green as the parakeet, blue as the kingfisher. Indigo as the deep ocean, violet as the storm sky before the thunder growls. So obviously it looks here when they're in the marketplace where Ravi lives, it looks like Ravi lives somewhere that is not in India where grandfather is visiting. So he must live somewhere in Europe or in North America. Ravi looked, took grandfather shopping in the market. They bought ghee and ginger, fish and lentils, yogurt and cucumber, and a bamboo flute for Ravi. Is there snow in India, grandfather? said Ravi. Yes, Ravi. High in the north are the Himalaya mountains. The snow on their tops is a giant ice cream, very cold and white, melting on your tongue. It keeps the mountain tops cool when the tiger sun roars at midday. Is 
It was supper time and soon the kitchen was full of delicious smells. Mom and Anjali cooked dal, lentils, cooked lentils, dal in a pan with cloves and cardamom. They fried the fish and onion in ghee until they were golden. Dad ground the turmeric, coriander and cumin and mixed them with the fish and the yogurt. And there's dad helping and everyone's cooking. Anjali fetched the rice and Ravi set the table and then they sat down to eat. Grandfather, said Ravi, are you very old? Hush now, Ravi, said mom. But grandfather laughed. Yes, Ravi Beta, as you see, I am old and brown like garden soil. <laughs> and wrinkled as a walnut. My teeth are not many and I cannot chew so well, but I manage with what I have. Have you ever seen an elephant, Grandfather? said Anjali. Indeed I have, said Grandfather. When I was a child like you and Ravi, I saw elephants walk in a procession on the feast of Diwali. They wore silk haudas, blue as the royal peacock. Princes rode on their backs. The hot streets teemed with people and everywhere were flowers, garlands of sweet jasmine and morning glory, hibiscus blossoms, cream and red and yellow, which we tucked behind our ears. We ate sticky sweets of coconut and almonds and lit fireworks in the street. We heard the chimes of bells and gongs, the beating of many drums. Ravi took out his flute and blew into it. This is my elephant dance, Grandfather. Grandfather smiled. That is a most fine elephant dance. You must practice very much and maybe one day an elephant will dance for you. After supper, Anjali got out her paints and pens and she and Ravi and Grandfather drew a map. The shape of India, said Grandfather, is the ear of an elephant. That's cool, I never even realized that. Does that look like an elephant ear to you, India? Does it look like that to you? <laughs> they drew in tigers and peacocks and crocodiles, elephants, snakes, and monkeys. They colored in the great river Ganges, Ganga, and the ice cream peaks of the Himalayas. They painted the western deserts, the elephant forests of the east, and the great tiger sun of the south. Look at this picture here. They have everything in this beautiful picture. There's that sun in the south. <laughs> Grandfather, said Ravi as he got ready for bed, do you love me? Grandfather put his arms around Ravi. Ravi Beta, you are as warm as a newborn kid, as soft as the frangipani blossom, as sweet as the juice of the mango, and I love you very much. Now it is time for sleeping. Ravi slept and dreamed of a deep green forest where moonlight fell in a silver stream. In the night grass, a great gray shape swayed its head and moved its large feet. Ravi raised his flute to his lips and as he played, he saw the elephant dancing a silent dance. And that's the end. If you see here, and if you know anything about music, here is Ravi's elephant dance. You can actually play it if you get this book from your library or if you buy it. And then also in the end, for people who don't know about anything about India, there's a whole bunch of things here. Living in India, it's geography, it's weather, religion, culture, and different things that you can see around there. And 
also. All the animals of India are on the next page. All the animals like the elephant, the tiger, things that they mentioned in the story, what types of monkeys are there, and the Indian peacock and cobra. And at the end, they mention some of the spices and the food that we eat in India. And so all of that is also here. And so this book is trying to introduce India to people who have never been there, including a lot of our own children. We're not always able to go, and maybe if we're not able to travel, that's a problem. But if you're able to make it there even once in your life, it's an incredible experience. Thanks so much for joining us here today. This was such a great book that we read today. I'll show you the cover one more time. It is Elephant Dance, A Journey to India. And on the inside cover, it says, what does it say? It actually says Elephant Dance, Memories of India. Well, that's interesting. We'll see you again next time on Indian Story Read Along. If you like this story, think about subscribing to our channel. See you again next time.